I have a conversation in my office almost every single day that starts with a man, sometimes in his 50s, sometimes in his 70s, asking me with a quiet sense of shame and anxiety, Doctor, is it possible to increase penile length? Am I just stuck with what I have now? And the honest truth is that this is one of the most common concerns for men, especially as they get older. The reality is that the penis can appear to shrink with age, but what most men don't understand is that it's not truly shrinking, it's simply becoming less available. It's a matter of tissue health, not a lack of potential. There is a huge industry out there preying on this fear, selling you snake oil, useless pills, and dangerous pumps that promise impossible results. I am here to tell you to ignore all of it. As a board-certified urologist, I am going to walk you through the only scientifically proven ways to not just restore, but genuinely increase penile length. This isn't about magic. It's about anatomy, biology, and a commitment to your own physical health. I am going to talk about a few different methods from the most simple and foundational to more involved medical and surgical interventions, but I promise to keep it simple, honest, and direct. By the end of this video, you will have a clear, realistic roadmap to taking back control. This is the conversation you need to have, but your doctor may not be giving you. So let's get into the science of it. First, let's understand what's really happening. The idea of penile shrinkage is often a painful misnomer. For most men, what they perceive as shrinkage is not a true reduction in their fundamental size, but rather a combination of three distinct and very addressable factors. It's a complex anatomical and physiological process, and understanding it is the first step toward finding a real solution. The first and perhaps most common factor is a straightforward matter of anatomy fat pad accumulation. As men age, it is very common for weight to settle around the lower abdomen and pubic area. This creates a fat pad that can effectively swallow the base of the penis, much like a hot dog getting lost inside a bun that's gotten too big. This fat pad can completely bury the root of the penis, making the visible external portion appear significantly shorter than it actually is. For every 30 pounds of weight gain, you can lose approximately one inch of visible length. The penis itself isn't getting smaller. It's simply being hidden from view, a hostage to your body's changing composition. This factor is a beautiful example of how an anatomical issue can be resolved with a foundational lifestyle change. It is not a structural failure, but a simple matter of exposure. The second factor is directly related to vascular and tissue health. Penile tissue, like all tissue in your body, needs a consistent healthy supply of oxygenated blood to maintain its size, elasticity, and overall health. Think of the penis as a muscle. If a muscle is not regularly exercised and given a sufficient supply of blood, it will atrophy and become less pliable. The same principle applies here over time. Due to a variety of factors like a sedentary lifestyle and poor diet, blood flow can diminish. This leads to the penile tissue becoming deoxygenated and the crucial collagen and elastin fibers that give the tissue its springiness and rigidity can become less flexible. This process leads to a subtle but very real reduction in flaccid length. In essence, the tissue loses its full capacity to hang and relax, holding itself in a more contracted, smaller state. A lack of consistent, robust blood flow is like a slow leak, gradually deflating the tissue and preventing it from ever reaching its full potential size. It's a physiological problem that can be corrected with the right approach. Finally, we have the third factor, Perian's disease. This is a specific and medically distinct condition where a fibrous plaque or scar tissue forms inside the penis. This scar tissue is not flexible. It hardens causing a bend or curvature that can pull on the shaft, shortening its length and often making erections painful. This is not simply a matter of age or lifestyle. It is a serious medical condition that needs to be addressed by a professional. The plaque can be felt as a palpable lump under the skin and the curvature can be significant enough to interfere with intimate activity. This condition requires a urologist's expertise and it is crucial to differentiate it from the other more common causes. 
than a perceived shrinkage. It's a very real structural problem that requires medical intervention and it's vital to have it properly diagnosed and treated to prevent further shortening and discomfort. My goal therefore is to give you a clear, honest roadmap that addresses all of these factors. Starting with the simplest, most foundational steps, First, we will begin with what you can do immediately at no cost and work our way up to more involved medical solutions. This is the path to real results, not empty promises. The single most effective and universally applicable way for any man to gain visible penile length is through weight loss. This is the number one urologist approved and no cost method that can deliver a powerful, undeniable, and immediate change. It is the most realistic place to start for the vast majority of men who are concerned about their perceived size. As I've explained, that fat pad at the base of your penis can literally bury a significant portion of the shaft, hiding what is already there. By losing weight, you are literally melting away that fat pad and exposing more of the penis that has been hidden from view. This isn't a trick or a magic pill. It is a simple matter of human anatomy. The results are real and scientifically demonstrable. The average man can regain approximately one in a visible length for every 30 to 50 pounds that he loses. Think about what a difference that can make in your confidence and intimate life and the benefits go far beyond just visible length weight loss is a holistic act that addresses all the underlying issues that are sabotaging your intimate health it is a fundamental key to improving vascular function as it directly reduces systemic inflammation and improves your body's blood sugar control which are the two biggest enemies of healthy blood flow it also has a profound impact on your hormone balance as your body sheds fat it naturally increases testosterone production by lowering the activity of an enzyme called aromatase which converts testosterone into estrogen it is a true win-win-win situation you gain visible length, you improve your overall vascular health and you restore your hormonal balance I know what you're thinking, doctor. This sounds too simple, and it does. It sounds simple because it is, but it is also the undeniable truth. Before you spend a single dollar on a risky, unproven pill or a dangerous device, you must make a genuine commitment to this foundational step. It is the single best investment you can make in your intimate health, your energy levels, and your long-term longevity. This is the first, most honest, and most powerful thing I tell every single patient who comes to me with this concern. It is the most realistic and most powerful path to immediate, tangible results you can see and feel. It is about taking back control of your body. Once the foundational work of weight loss is underway and a man has committed to that path, we can talk about a method that focuses specifically and intentionally on the health and elasticity of the penile tissue itself. This involves a form of physical therapy and the use of specialized medical devices. I am talking about the use of penile traction devices and penile extenders. Now, I understand that the very mention of these devices can make a man nervous. And I want to acknowledge that the market is filled with confusing, often misleading products, and the topic is shrouded in embarrassment. But let me be perfectly clear, these devices are the only non-surgical method that a urologist will ever realistically recommend for penile lengthening. They are a legitimate medical tool, not a gimmick. These devices are designed to apply a gentle, consistent, and steady longitudinal tension to the flaccid penis. This tension is not aggressive or painful. It is gradual prolonged pull that encourages the penile tissue to slowly expand and lengthen over time. The science behind this is not new or revolutionary. In fact, it is similar to the principles used in orthopedic surgery, where a bone is lengthened by applying a gradual and steady traction over many months. This is a well-established biological principle known as mechanotransduction, where cells respond to mechanical force by changing their behavior. The cells of the penis under this constant gentle pull receive a powerful signal. This signal prompts them to begin a process of cellular proliferation where they replicate and divide creating new tissue and increasing the overall size it helps to restore the crucial collagen and elastin fibers that give the tissue its healthy youthful springiness 
I must be honest with you, this is a significant commitment. A proper treatment regimen is not a quick fix. It can involve wearing the device for several hours a day over the course of many months, sometimes up to six to n months for the full effect. But the results can be very real, very tangible, and very lasting. Clinical studies have shown an average increase of one to two centimeters in flaccid length, with some men experiencing even more. What's more, the benefits extend beyond just length. The renewed tissue Health and elasticity can also contribute to a subtle increase in girth and most importantly to a healthier overall function and confidence. This method works by directly addressing the loss of tissue elasticity that occurs with age. It proactively fights the effects of deoxygenation and helps to restore the penile tissue to a healthier, more pliable state, making it more responsive to your body's signals. It is a powerful form of physical therapy that you perform on yourself. I must stress two things with absolute certainty. First, you must use a scientifically validated medical grade device. Do not under any circumstances buy a cheap unproven product you see online. These can cause a lack of uniform tension leading to nerve damage and skin irritation and they simply will not deliver the results you are looking for. Second, you must be patient and consistent. This is a slow, gradual process, but it is one that can deliver real lasting results without the risks and complications of surgery. This is a perfect example of a proactive hands-on approach to your health where your commitment and consistency are rewarded with a profound and lasting physical change. It's about taking back control and restoring what was lost. For men who are suffering from a specific medical condition like Pyron's disease or for those who have exhausted all other conservative options and are still looking for a solution there are more involved medical and surgical options available these are typically considered after the non-invasive methods have been attempted or when a specific diagnosis warrants a more direct approach the first of these is a non-surgical option that's a true game sure for pyron's disease it's a prescription medication called collagenized clostridium hylicum more commonly known by its brand name shiflex this is a powerful enzyme that's injected directly into the scar tissue or plaque that forms inside the penis. The enzyme's job is to specifically target and break down the collagen that makes up this inflexible scar tissue. By dissolving the plaque, the medication helps to reduce the curvature and can, in some cases, restore some of the length that was lost due to the pulling effect of the scar tissue. It's vital to understand that this is not a general cosmetic treatment. It is a highly specific targeted treatment for a defined medical condition and must be administered by a qualified professional with experience in this procedure. The second and most involved option is penile surgery. This is typically a last resort for men who have severe conditions or for those who have tried all other methods without success. It's important to have a clear understanding of what surgery can and cannot do. There are a few different types of surgical procedures, but the most common one for increasing flaccid length involves a procedure called a suspensory ligament release. The penis is anchored to the pubic bone by a ligament called the suspensory ligament. By cutting and releasing this ligament, the penis is allowed to hang further down, revealing some of the length that was hidden inside the body. This procedure can add approximately one to two in a visible flaccid length. It is crucial to understand that while this surgery can have real results, it is a serious procedure with a significant recovery period. It's not a magical fix. It requires a committed period of post-operative physical therapy and the use of attraction device to maintain the gains and prevent the ligament from reattaching. As with any surgery, there are risks and potential complications such as a change in the angle of erection, nerve damage, or a decrease in erectile rigidity. This is precisely why it's the last option we consider and why a thorough consultation with a urologist is essential before moving forward. So what is my final verdict? The most powerful and effective methods for increasing penal length are not found in a pill bottle. They are found in a comprehensive, holistic approach to your health. With the foundational fix, weight loss.
This is a no-cost, universally beneficial act that addresses the root cause of what most men perceive as shrinkage, and it provides a host of other health benefits that will improve your intimate life. If you are already at a healthy weight or if you are looking to do more, commit to a scientifically validated penile extender. This is a marathon, not a sprint, but it is a proven method for restoring and enhancing the elasticity of your tissue. And if you are suffering from a medical condition like Pyrenees disease, or if you have tried everything else, talk to a urologist about the medical and surgical options available to you. The most important thing to remember is that you are not powerless. You are not at the mercy of your age. You have the ability to take back control. The biggest mistake you can make is falling for the empty promises of a predatory industry that wants to take your money without delivering real lasting results. This is the real science. This is the truth. And this is the urologist approved roadmap to reclaiming your vitality. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this information helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to Journey of Bonds for more simple science-backed solutions, and share this video with a friend who might be struggling. I'm Dr. Rina Malik, and I'll see you next.